Folks, how y'all doing today? Well, a lot of people ask me, Booger, have you seen the new Final Destination? Yep, I saw that one the other day. I got in early to see it. Saw it for 6.50 instead of 7.50 because I went at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But if I go at 5 or after 5, it's 7.50. But if I go to the really nice Regal, the one that has nice cushiony chairs and uh, the bathroom doesn't have you-know-what all over the toilet and uh, F.U. all over the wall, if I go to that nice Regal, it costs 9.50 all day to get in. 9.50 all day. I tell you, that is, woo, that's high. That is uh, pretty high. And then uh, I went to the little cheap theater, though. Got got in. I was the only one in there in the movie, but it was it was early in the afternoon, so I, I figured nobody would go see the movie at that time. Because, you know, most people see movies on Saturdays and Fridays and Sundays on the weekend. But uh, I go at off times. I go, like, in the afternoon. Or sometimes I go at night. I know one time I went at night when I saw Friday the 13th. The, the remake or reimagining, whatever you want to call it. But I saw the new Final Destination. I have to say, I, I really enjoyed it. There was a lot, of, a lot of action. If you like the first three, you'll enjoy this one. It's just like the other ones. Very crazy from start to finish. Very gory, very graphic, very, very wild. And I like the death scenes in these movies. They're really crazy and, and kind of exaggerated a little bit. But uh, they, they're done really, really well. Like in the new uh, Final Destination, this one guy, he gets stuck in a swimming pool at the drain. His butt gets stuck on the drain, and it sucks his damn guts out and shoots him up everywhere. I tell you, that was wild. Never seen anything like that. And then there's a part where this, uh, this one lady, she goes to a beauty salon. They got the fan, like the fan on the ceiling. It's sitting there wobbling, about to bust. And it comes flying down. The kids run in and slide. And then the... The kids threw these rocks at this guy. He was cutting the grass. They, they tried to hit the sign near where he was cutting his grass. And uh, the mother walks out of the beauty salon, and uh, the guy's cutting his grass and hit that rock. That rock went flying right in her eye, went bam, killed her instantly. I said, good lord, almighty me, that's nasty. But whew, it's a pretty graphic movie. I tell you, not for the kids. You need to be at least 18 or older to see it, unless you can uh, stomach those kind of nasty scenes. And uh, then there's one guy, he was just like walking in the movie. He got hit by a car. Uh, I didn't really see that coming. And uh, one lady, she almost gets stuck in the escalator. I can see how that could happen in real life. Having your shoelace get stuck in the escalator going up and down. My mom actually fell on the, on the escalator one time when she was a kid. She fell and her head hit like the bottom of it and she was like bleeding really bad. She told me about that story. But really a really wild movie the beginning starts out with a big nascar race going on and then the car has a wreck and flies into the audience and kills everybody but a uh, wow really really crazy movie has a has a pretty good ending too but uh i didn't see that ending coming either i i don't want to spoil it but uh you'll enjoy the movie if you like the first three you'll definitely like this one because it is full of action it is very gory it is uh just wild ride, really. Only thing about the movie, the actors and actresses in the movie, I've never heard of any of them before. I don't know any of them. I think they're I think they're new to this movie, but uh, they're they're pretty good in the movie. I know some people online said, oh, the acting in the Final Destination was horrible, but the effects were good and it was really gory and all that. But I don't think the acting was that bad. I mean, it was all right. I mean, I've never heard of the people that played in the Final Destination. I've never seen them in any other movies. But uh, they were they were pretty good in the movie. I mean, they did a pretty good job. My favorite character was probably the uh, the black guy. I like him. Shame they damn well. I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I like the black guy. He was my favorite character in the movie. Other characters they were all right. But uh, I like the black guy. He was cool. But uh, it's a really good movie. If you like the first three, definitely check it out. It's a very solid sequel. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Definitely check it out. And uh, check out Halloween 2 if you like the other one. But Halloween 2 was kind of disappointing to me. I was kind of disappointed. I mean, I didn't hate it, but it was kind of disappointing. But uh, maybe the DVD will have more added to it. But uh, that's all I got to say. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you like the movie Orphan, when it came out in July, it's coming out on DVD next month and Blu-ray. Well, uh, I'll see you all later.